It's always some strange 13-year-old who says, you know what? You know anything about Spanish fly? No, tell me about it. Well, there's this girl, Crazy Mary. You put some in her drink, man. She, <laughs> yeah, Spanish fly. Oh, yeah, that's really groovy, man. Spanish fly is groovy, yeah, boy. From then on, man, anytime you see a girl, what's your ass Spanish fly? Boy? Go to a party, see five girls standing alone. Boy, if I had a whole jug of Spanish fly, I'd light that corner up over there. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, that's Bill Cosby from a 1969 comedy album where he's talking about Spanish Fly, uh, a name for a drug that allegedly you put in a girl's drink and it makes her, you know, want to have sex with you. Dr. Jeffrey Gardier, America's psychologist, joins us, uh, expert used, of course, on CNN and NBC's uh, The Today Show. Hello, sir. Good to have you. Steve, always a pleasure to be with you. All right, so let's talk about this because here we have uh, Bill Cosby, and i got to tell you, any woman could claim rape. But when 20 women come forward and they all have the same M.O. description and you refuse for whatever reason to say, I didn't do it, it makes one very suspicious. And then when you hear this comedy album bit, is this just coincidence or do you believe there could be more to it than that? Well, I, I think that uh, Spanish, uh, Spanish fly bit uh, is something that a lot of people talked about and certainly was a way to rape. Uh, let's be very clear about that. Very sexist, very wrong. Um, certainly, that's something that a lot of people talked about. So uh, certainly, it, it could be coincidence. I don't know whether I would tie that into what's happening with Bill Cosby uh, today. But I tell you that uh, many people who are very close to Dr. Cosby uh, are very perplexed that he won't respond. Uh, to the charges that have been leveled against him because they're very damaging. I would think anyone in that position would come out and say, if they weren't guilty of it, I'm not guilty, and I'm going to hold you to task for that. You would, you would absolutely think that. When you watch the victims, and you, you know, you're not psychoanalyzing them in your office, but when you watch the victims as you've watched the alleged victims come forward, um, some more famous than others, a super former supermodel, etc., um, do you find credibility in what they're saying? Uh, I, I always give the benefit of the doubt to anyone who says that uh, they have been sexually assaulted because this is a very violent world uh, against uh, females. Um, certainly, um, we have to hear what it is that they're saying. Whether he's guilty or not, we don't know, but we certainly cannot dismiss um, the charges that have been leveled, they should be investigated uh, in any way possible. Um, what kind of personality, I mean, you describe it, I guess sexual predator would be the correct one, but beyond that, 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 that might be the criminal uh, terminology. But if, if Bill Cosby or anybody is guilty of this over so many years of doing the same thing to so many women, usually very young, uh, what, 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 what's their personality disorder or what, how would you describe them or, or analyze them? Well, uh, the, the, the Open Secret is a documentary that's about to be released, and it talks about predators in Hollywood, how people with a lot of power and fame uh, are able to live um, unlike any other people. We're all created equal, but maybe they're created more equal in their minds and in the minds of their fans. And so certainly we elevate these individuals, we look the other way. In many ways, we enable their crimes because we just can't seem to reconcile that someone who may perhaps bring such enjoyment to others uh, in reality may be a monster who has hurt and destroyed so many different lives. And I'm just talking about predators in general. Right, right, right. Very quickly, one, one accuser says she was orally uh, forced to perform oral sex on him when she was very young. Then about two months later, he called her. He was sending a limo for her to go see a show, and she went. We got 30 seconds. Why would someone go? Well, because you have to understand uh, that in that kind of a situation, rape is not just a physical phenomenon, it's also a psychological phenomenon. And therefore, many rape victims, uh, in many ways, uh, emotionally uh, have been slayed and therefore gotcha. uh, sometimes are stuck in that kind of a situation. Right. Doctor, great to see you. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. Dr. Jeffrey Gardier, America's psychologist. We're coming back.